These are hydroponic baskets that I designed to hold Rockwell cubes. So they just hold it in like that. Let's take a look at how we went from this original design to the second iteration to this third and final design. I started by taking the general dimensions of the Rockwell cube and modeling that in SolidWorks. And then I did a shell outwards. And so that means that I basically had a basket that could hold the rock hole at that point, but that had solid walls around it. And then I added the rim so that the rim could catch on the planter and followed that up by cutting the holes out of the sides and the bottom. And then I sent it over to Bamboo Studio to slice it, and then I printed it. And you can see that the results were a bunch of drooping bridges that just don't look good and aren't functional. So that brings us to the second design. And on this one, I added chamfers on the sides and I increased that chamfer angle until they meet in the middle. So this could all be self-supporting and print without supports. But I forgot about that one millimeter inset. And so I still had these strings come and fall down like that. That leads us to this third design. So on this one, I had the chamfers on the side that meet in the middle, but then I also added a chamfer on this back edge to support that inset, which means that this can print entirely without supports in this orientation, and that it can hold these Rockwell cubes, and they have a nice amount of space for the roots to come up the sides and the bottom. If you want to support the channel, you can hit the Amazon links for these Rockwell cubes and buy whatever you want on Amazon, or I'll also put a link for the PLA in the description for some eSun PLA Plus, which is essentially what Bamboo uses and rebrands as their own. If you like the video, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.